Hello, welcome to this brief tutorial on P2P subnets. Um, this is assuming you know the basics of applied energistics, uh, how to store items, um, how to do auto crafting. Um, you are ready to take the next step and learn how to do P2Ps. And this tutorial will show you that as well as a um, hopefully not too much more complicated feature of using a subnet to uh, handle your P2P channels. So I've set up this little, uh, just essentially a channel simulation. Each one of these is 32 channels, um, and each row here is 32. So what I'm going to show you is basically, um, this is this might be what your network looks like at the moment. You've got dense channels or dense, dense cables running everywhere, and you need more. So in this case, if we want to hook up these channels, we would need to do something like this, um, which is obviously, it's, it's clunky. There's, there's wires everywhere. There's channels everywhere. And then if we wanted to hook up these ones, well, it would just get more and more awkward. Um, so what I'm going to do is replace these dense cables um, with P2Ps. So P2P channel or P2P tunnels are essentially a way to, uh, I've heard it said, package uh, channels. Uh, we're actually going to put this a little bit apart so you can see the channels going. So if I link these two P2P channels like this and then supply power to the, uh, to the, the P2P tunnels, then we can see the channels going from here through this as one channel and then um, you can see them coming out here because they're linked. So that's that's like the absolute bare bones P2P usage. Now you can see how it's two channels being wasted here um, because each of these P2P tunnels require a channel. Um, so I'll show you how to deal with these spare channels in a second. But what I'd like to do next um, is hook up this second one to show you why it's helpful to have a little subnet. I'm actually going to grab a, um, a cable anchor, so this is just a tiny bit more convenient. This little uh, handy dude will basically make it so they stop connecting. Okay, so let's hook this up, and we'll be back. Just got the same setup. I'm going to shift right click to create a configuration. Shift, or a regular right click Sorry, shift right click to, to create a configuration, regular right click to paste. And you can see how there's 32, again, going through this, and then coming out right here. And we can even do a little better visualization using this tool right here from A2 stuff. Uh, these purple lines represent the connection. And as you can see, these go straight from there to there and come out into the, into the, uh, the controller here. Um, but Again, this is a little bit awkward because this side is being taken up by these four channels, which are the P2P tunnels channels. So what I would like to do is set up a subnet. Um, so I'll get that placed and I'll show you what I mean. All right. So I've just got this second controller placed. Um, it's got its own source of power. It's not the same network. Um, and you can see if I right click here, this network is completely separate. Um, and all it is, is a place for the channels that are the P2P tunnels to end up. The way I've got this configured is that um, the two sides, this side is the um, tunnels that go to your machines, and this side is the tunnels that go to your controller. So if you keep them separate like this, it's a little bit more convenient at times. Um, and as you can see here, this tunnel goes directly into the face. Um, no need to see it like this if you don't have to. Um, and if you can see, this way is, is much, much tidier um, and much more expandable. So what we're going to actually do is set up another one. Another two, actually. So let's put these guys on. We're going to give them their own. And then we're going to hook up here. So let's set up the P2Ps for these two two and remember each of these rows 
is 32 channels. And if you were doing this without P2Ps, you would need um, to have four huge lines of dense P2Ps running through your base. But using this method, um, you can see it's only using these four these these four channels. So there's an another room for twice this many for another copy of this setup on this line still. Like if we had to, we had room for even more, four more P2Ps on this single smart cable. Um, and as you can see, this smart cable is significantly tidier than just running four dense P2Ps everywhere. And in fact, I'm gonna clean this up so it looks a little bit tidier even than that. Um, now you can find the missing one like this. So we know that this is the one that got disconnected. So let's make a new one by shift right click, regular right click to paste, just make sure everything's connected. And there you go, once it loads up. So by using P2Ps, you can condense your mega lines of dense cable down into regular smart cable. And by using a subnet, you can make everything just super clean and tidy and no wasted channels by um, having the P2P tunnels powered on their own separate network. And again, this network is doing nothing but take care of the P2P channels. And this network is doing all the heavy lifting. This is where your storage would be attached, all your auto crafting, um, and all that. So there you go. P2P tunnels and subnetwork to take care of their channels.